Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. In this episode, we're going to be talking about tissue culture. Nan from Kanjari and Greens will be giving us a very, very casual and entertaining walkthrough of the tissue culture process. And this tissue culture walkthrough is supposed to be part of last week's episode. But because it is so interesting, it's so well done that I decided to have a standalone episode so that you guys are not too overwhelmed with too many going on in one episode. And as you can see, I'm in a hospital now and I just need to get this editing done. So I hope you pardon the appearance here. I'm going to talk about my dengue fever experience in a video in my personal channel, which I'm going to link up above. So if you want to see what's going on with me, uh, yeah, check that video out. But dengue fever is no joke. It is a very, very painful disease and it is very, very dangerous. It's way more dangerous than COVID. So without further ado, I'm just going to pass this over to Nan. I don't want to say like the old school, but you know, it's like the original setup for tissue culture. Wow. Um, so there's a fan up in here. Um, Anything in here needs to be uh, clean, sterilized, and there's a bunch of like all the alcohols and everything. So each of the equipment mm -hmm. that goes in here, um, we have to clean it. Okay. So it's like a lot of yeah, everything. So that's why I'm not really putting my hands in there. Yeah. Um, they wash their hands like they're going for a surgery before they go in. Because they kind of are. That is like really intense, right? Yeah. Do you know how to do it yourself? Like, yes. Oh, you do? I do, I do. I grew up doing this. Your, your dad taught you or? Wait, no. no, your employees or? Yeah, my employees. Okay. Did you enjoy doing it growing up or were you like begrudgingly? I enjoy it so much because I get to sit in here with the AC on. <laughs> um, so right here, that we're actually working on Tycon mm -hmm. batch. Cute. This is some very leggy tycons. So you can see this media is actually white yeah. and not black like the orchids just now, mm -hmm. um, because it's different recipe. You know, different vitamins that they they need. Mm -hmm. um, these tycons are they're de technically ready to go, mm -hmm. um, but if you want to multiply it, then you kind of put it into a different recipe. Yeah, I, I heard there's two types of yeah. the jelly. One is to grow them big and one is to have them keep reproducing. Yeah, so this is how they, they go in. So okay, that's actually just their apical bud, no? Yeah. So what it is? Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. just the bud. And sometimes like, like the stem up top, if they're really big and like, you know, you know how like they show roots and stuff mm -hmm. and they, you know how like we air root outside, air root outside? Air root. Mm -hmm. same concept for that. Yeah, it smells like a hospital in here. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, yeah. I want to show you in here. Good call. Yes, <laughs> we would um, not hear anything. So these are all orchids. Oh, okay. So you can see those little, little thing. Oh yeah. We have to keep our eyes on it every day, morning okay. and afternoon to see if there's any growth. Interesting, that's um, fun. Actually. Yes, so it, it's very interesting. I like it a lot. Um, I get to see something, you know, growing, changing. So this thing will daily. turn into life. This, yep. this looks like a cut stem. Mm -hmm, it is. And oh. it's really, it's very hard to know where to cut, yeah. how to cut, how to, you know, find the right recipe that it likes. Yeah. So every orchid species or hybrid has different conditions or are they kind of sip? Different. Oh, yeah. Shoot. So everyone, so let's say a customer mm -hmm. got a new hybrid. Yeah. They can bring it to me and yeah. I'm like, oh shoot, I can't, I can't get it past the stage. Yeah. They can bring it to the, another lab yeah. who might have different recipe. It might work with them. Oh. So just because you have a big lab doesn't mean you can do everything. Yeah, that complicates things quite a bit, actually. Yeah, so everybody, you know, they have their own techniques. Yeah. Um, here's all the Tycons. Mm -hmm. You can see they're like, yeah. it went from that to that. Okay. <laughs> really interesting. Um, that. How long does it take, roughly, from this to this? Oh, gosh. Uh, I say nine months. Okay, is this where they're going to be maturing, or do you move them, like, elsewhere? 
Uh, we will keep them in here. Okay. So we sell them in their in different sizes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we sell it, you know, a bottle of three, mm -hmm. bottle of one. Uh, in a big bottle of 10, 40, depends. And they are actually easy when you ship them like this, right? Yes. D uh, by the way, when you ship them, do they have to be kept upright the whole time or can they like... They can definitely turn and stuff. We don't like right. that. Yeah. But if we ship to like internationally, there's nothing we can do. Yeah. Um, but it'll be fine. It'll be and, fine. And, okay. Well, I should say the receiver yeah. needs to know how to deal with these. Like okay. you receive. And I can show you guys too. Okay, that's important because I actually did a tissue culture episode last time from Thailand. Someone gifted me and most of them died. I, but I didn't know what I was doing. But it's good. You actually need to learn how to kill them before you know how to... Make, yeah, you yes. have to kill a lot to, 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 so you can be good at something. So these are, um, I think, white princess. Oh, wow. They look like little mini greens. Yeah, so eat. these little things, they're a bunch of cells. Okay. You see those little buds? Yeah, it's exciting. Those could go to be like 40 plants, 50 plants from here. And then you would keep separating them. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So we have all things here. I have white princess. I have pink princess. Oh, let me These show you. These are orchids, something. though, right? If you can look up close. This, is orchid this one is orchids, yes. Yeah. Let me show you something right here. Is that mold? Yes. Is that good or so bad? So it's bacteria. It's yeah. no good. Okay. I had mine. Uh, and it could be so many reasons for mm -hmm. you to get bacteria. Mm -hmm. So my employees will keep them. So you can see, you see the differences of the two molds. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. not the same. Yeah. This so, one is light. This is a dark yeah, mold. Yeah. And it's from two different costs. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can't tell you, oh, this then white maybe. one because you didn't wash your hands or yeah. this one is because you didn't clean the equipment. Yeah. It's really hard to tell. Yeah. But we need to keep it, write it down of like what happened, mm -hmm. how many percentage that went bad. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. But and then it, is, this, is this a lost cause or? Lost. Oh, it's like, there's nothing you can do. Mm -mm. All right. Yeah. So these, you can see they're like growing. You can see the leaves now. You can mm -hmm. see some variegations in here. What is this? Do you know what's in here? Uh, 18, I think this is another white princess. Okay. So you can see the leaf is variegated. Yeah. So usually if you work from, well, I should say like good ethics. Mm -hmm. When a customer said, hey, I want what, 10 white princess mm -hmm. in a bottle. Yeah. I come in here and I see some greens. Yeah. I would ask my employees to come in, take them out, take them out and right. only keep the white ones. Okay. Um, when these were like the big hits, yeah. people would buy one yeah. and it's like too variegated and the rest is green. Oh no. It happened to me too. Yeah. But you know, again, it's slower and you know, we, we try um, to keep the b good business ethics. Yeah. Jopi. Oh, this is not the variegated, obviously. Mm -mm. Maybe <laughs> well, I'll find one in here. Maybe. Usually maybe. there's at least one. At least one. If you're diligent enough, you might just see one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. It's yeah. a gamble for sure. Yeah, but they're coming to the market quite hot, the variegated ones. Yeah. That's insane. Like you can see in here, mm -hmm. it's like outgrowing like crazy. Yeah, what is this? Is this a white princess? I think this is a white something? princess or a white knight. I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. sure. I have to double check. Sometimes it looks like one, but I look at the the code and yeah. it's, it's wrong. So, but yeah. So these ha are kind of like the way the new variegations like come about. Yeah. And actually we're seeing some of these variegated plants start starting to appear in like green walls in like because they're not ex expensive as before so people can actually appreciate their beauty and kind of display them whenever or wherever they want yeah now yeah we go back and change the recipe i forgot to press record oh <laughs> shoot okay but um one more time okay okay so when these plants are already in these jars like this, are they purchase orders or, or like are they from your, like are they for stock purposes? Both. Okay. So Thai cons, they're all called for. Mm -hmm. um, so usually when people come to me and like, hey, can I get like some Thai cons? Mm -hmm. 
I'm sure you said you have to pre-order, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, these variegated plants are slow growth. Mm. So um, you can see there's so many little plants. They're yeah. not ready to like come out and grow. Yeah. So when somebody is like, okay, Nan, can I get a hundred? Yeah. Then I tell my employees to like, all right, change the media now. Yeah. Change it to the, the, the rooting. growing one. Yeah. yeah. And like the Joe P.I., they're, these are not ordered, mm -hmm. but I just like them. I already sold a whole bunch too, mm. but I, I feel like I like them. Yeah. We found a good recipe yeah. for it. Yeah. And it's, it's doing good for me. Nice. Um, We're probably one of the first that sold Joe P.I. to the market. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And then another question, like let's say for the solution that's used in the Jopi or UPI? I'm not uh, either sure. one. Yeah. Um, for this one and the Tycon, do you guys use the same solution? Or? No. So when we first put them in the lab, mm -hmm. we always use like a standard recipe. Mm -hmm. And then we look to see, oh, this one is like growing like way too fast or like yeah. way too slow. Because when it is growing way too fast, it's not strong plants. Like they're oh. they're growing tall, yeah. but not healthy. Okay, all right. So you have to like, all right, we gotta change a little bit of the recipe. Yeah. Um, but usually there's one standard one that we use majority of the time. And you might make tweaks, yes. possibly to tweaks them. all the time. Yeah. Same thing with orchids. We yeah. we tweaks all the time too. Yeah. So this you just turn these off for us, but then you have to turn them back on because. So once we take the shoot, mm -hmm. we get like, you know, the, I, I, I don't know what to call it, but like the cell. Yeah. Keep this on shaking 24 seven. All right. To sterilize. Oh. And then we have to come and look at it daily. Yeah. So now, now this one is kind of pinkish. Yeah. This might go back soon. Okay. We don't know. All right. Um, but yeah, we change it, new solution, keep it shaking 24-7 mm. till we see growth. Cute. This looks like a yoga band or something. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, my dad created this. Oh, cool. He wow. kind of like used his own little, I don't know, DIY. Yeah. And created this shaker. Yeah, you That's can just... That's why it looks kind of you know yoga bands that's cool that's cool you can't just buy this in a hardware store basically you have to like yeah <laughs> you're really creative i actually will show you one thing really cool outside yeah right here so so we're like one of the first ones that do tissue culture in orchids mm -hmm. And these used to be like shorter. Okay. It used to, this is the common things you see. Yeah, we see this everywhere. My dad was like, all right, how can I get orchids all the way nicely in here? <laughs> so he went to his friend yeah. and they created this for him. They're welders. Okay. They're welders. So this is hand like weld. welded. Oh, he, I'm, did he end up selling a bunch of these to other people too? Yeah, it would have been he smart. Actually did. <laughs> I should have patented this. Oh gosh. Now that it's going to go on YouTube. Yeah. Now everyone's going to make that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't, you can't find it like on Amazon or anything. Like yeah. this is, and even this one compared to this one, they're yeah. not the same because it's like, you know, handmade one by one. Yeah. So, yeah. Really cool. Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, reach out to Nan if you want one of those yes. tweezers. <laughs> Let me know. So you can see it's um it's outgrowing. Yeah. It the media yeah. is about to be gone. Yeah. Now my employees are gonna come in and start sep separating, separating them, put them on the next bottle. Yeah. Yeah. And but if a customer was like, all right, I'm ready to take them. Mm -hmm. Can I get 300 bottles? Yeah. These are these can go too. Okay. And they can take That's these out and start growing. Yeah. For orchids, it's usually 40 plants per in a bottle. bottle. Mm -hmm. I wonder what people do with so many orchids. Like I always wanted one, but it's like, what am I gonna do with the whole bottle of them? because half of them might die. Oh, that's why. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. Yeah. And then you can give them to friends or family. Yeah. 
All right, wasn't that amazing? Uh, thank you, Nan, for taking us through. It's, it's such a rare treat for us to be able to come in to a place that is so exclusive that is oftentimes very confidential. And I hope that you guys have learned a thing or two because tissue culture is the future for house plants. As I mentioned a few times in the previous episodes, tissue culture is one way to conserve plants to make sure that they're not pushed from their natural habitat. But also, tissue culture is where a lot of mutations and interesting variation has been discovered, and that has ignited renewed interest in the houseplant community. Thank you so much for watching. I'm at Botanist. Feel free to reach out and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.